Hey guys, welcome back to Learnify. Let's learn about the price mechanism. The price mechanism is the workings of supply and demand called the market forces to bring the market back to equilibrium, where supply and demand is equal to each other. I like to think about the functions of the price mechanism in terms of signaling, incentive, rationing, and allocating when I'm writing long responses or paper one questions. So, so normally people will have this in a different order, but for me, I find this to work the best. Let's now look at a rise in price as our first example. When there's a price rise in the economy or a market, sorry, there will be a, a signal to consumers and producers to change their behaviors because when prices rise, it's usually going to be the result of a shortage, right? Because there's not going to be enough. There's going to be upward pressure on price. And the shortage is indicative for or signaling to consumers and producers that their behavior should be changed and they should alter them in some way to gain, go back to equilibrium. When there's a higher price, it is an incentive for consumers to buy less, decreasing quantity demanded, and producers to produce more, increasing quantity supplied. This can lead to the initial shortage being rationed away to consumers willing and able to pay a higher price. And since quantity supplied has increased and quantity demanded has decreased, there's going to be a greater allocation of resources. This is greater even though the consumers buy less because the previous shortage has been eliminated. Let's look at it. There could be disequilibrium for many reasons. So in this case, there's a shortage. With a shortage, demand or quantity demand is greater than quantity supplied. Because of this, consumers will be bidding up the prices of the goods because more people want than what is it, what there is to have. This slow rise in price signals to consumers and producers to alter their behaviors. Specifically, the higher prices incentivizes consumers to buy less, decreasing quantity demanded, showing this movement along the demand curve. And meanwhile, the, this provides a great incentive for producers to produce more of this good, making the quantity supply increase, as seen by this movement along the supply curve. Slowly, this um, excess demand or shortage is going to be rationed away as it slowly decreases and new equilibrium will be established. Overall, previous, overall, there will be a greater allocation of resources because the final quantity supplied amount has increased from Q1 to QE. Same rules apply when we think about falling prices in the case of surpluses, but you need to remember signaling incentive rationing and allocating in order to organize your argument. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any ideas of topics you want me to cover, I can just leave a comment down below and I'll definitely be covering them. And yeah, have a good one. Like and subscribe.